Hi guys, welcome back. We're doing the HID retrofit with the ABL, so by Xenon retrofit into an OEM application from H7. So the low beams were H7s. Now we have uh, ABL equipped by Xenons. As you can see, this is the connector. I actually bought two new connectors that have everything that's already pinned out. So it makes my life a little bit easier. Power probe, if you don't have it, invest in it. Great tool, learn to use it. It'll save you tons and tons of time and aggravation. Again, this is the interior. I have to tear everything apart. But we got to the A58 module. We are looking for connector 2B, which is this guy here. And uh, on this connector, we are looking for pin 41 on the schematic. Let's see if you can catch it here, maybe. There we go. Should look good. So A58 module, A58 2B connector, pin 41 should be a yellow wire with a red stripe goes to bi -Xenon, and then that splits over to both headlights. We're gonna check if we have that. And if we don't, we're gonna have to pin it in. And if we do, we're gonna have to split it somewhere, find it underneath the hood and see where that signal goes so that way we could have bi -Xenons. So guys, back again. I found the connector, how it looks. Let me see if we can zoom in properly to this thing. May not catch it. But that's the connector, so it's a pinout. You have to look for the connector type within uh, ISTA, which is where I found this. So essentially, this row starts at 33, ends at 39, and then these three, 39, 40, 41. We're missing a pin. So we're gonna pin this out, throw this pin in, connect it to one of the headlights, see if the shutters work. Hmm. Tell you what, after spending a decent amount of time trying to figure this stuff out. We got low beam, everything functions-ish. As you notice, I got high beams on right now. I have the wire connected just like this, so I wouldn't run anything. This is good. Let me place my camera here. So, as you can see, this is hot, meaning that they're turned on. And this is the other ground that we have. And let me see if I can hold this somehow or put it cleverly in a place where it's, there we go. And if I ground this, nothing happens. I was thinking why, maybe the headlights are broken. Turns out the pin that I connected wasn't connected all the way. Check a look at this, take a look at this. Ta-da! We got by Xenons. Lucky for me, the driver's side just required one wire, which is from the FRM. It got snaked over here. As you can see, it was a pain in the butt. Don't recommend, it's not fun. Goes here, then I doubled up on the uh, two grounds. So that's good, that works. This side, unfortunately, um the cup this little thing the plastic cover was missing on my original one as you can see here because it was damaged when the car got hit so i had to repin so this one that i bought i'm just repinning it out also not fun just make sure you are paying attention and, and following the uh, schematics so that way you don't screw things up you don't burn anything out but yeah it should be uh, back together soon you guys will see how it's uh, how it's running Final look, this is low beam. All the lights work, markers work, turn signals work, fog lights work. Is there are low beams. I don't know if you can see it on the building there because it's still light out. Bising on high beams. Fog lights have been coated so that way they work together. Beautiful. Another OEM retrofit done right. If you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. It's help us grow the channel, do more cool things. And help us keep these things on the road and have fun while doing it.